Hello everyone, and welcome to my Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Today on The Bold and the Beautiful, Brooke worries about the tension between Ridge and Eric, Lai tells Finn what Poppy did, and Donna supports Eric. In the Forrester office, Brooke admires Ridge's designs and asks if he's okay. She knows the fashion challenge is weighing on him. Ridge can't understand his dad picking this fight with him. I'm going to win this and then he's not going to know what to do. Ridge loves his son and his dad, but he's going to beat the pants off both of them. Ridge talks about how he's always respected his father. Now it's him sitting behind the desk. Brooke assures him he's doing a tremendous job. Ridge says Eric asked him to do this job and he can't come back and run it at this point. He needs to go and live his life. At the Forrester Mansion, Donna recaps for the doctor that Eric has been coughing up blood. We need to know the truth. What's wrong with Eric? Eric declares he's never felt stronger in his life. Dr. Colby admits he's not sure what the diagnosis is yet, especially with this development. He has Eric sit while he listens to his chest with a stethoscope. After, he asks questions about the bouts of coughing up blood and then declares, Eric, I have to say, this is very serious. Donna tears up. Dr. Colby warns Eric he can't shrug this off. Eric insists he's not, but he's focused on Forrester creations and has to finish this project. Donna tells him there's a silly challenge. Eric grunts that it's much more than that. Donna tells him he has nothing to prove, your legacy is solidified. Whatever he has is serious, and she won't lose him over this competition. He's stressing himself needlessly. Eric tells her he needs this. She protests, no, you don't. Eric says this is the culmination of his life's work, his grand finale. I have to finish. In Finn's office, Lai tells Finn that her sister Poppy, Penelope, ruined her life years ago. Finn frowns. What are you talking about? He wants to hear about his aunt and Luna. Finn warns his mother he won't drop the line of questioning and asks again. Lai tells him her sister disrespected her and almost ruined her career. She had no direction and focus in life, so she got her a job in a hospital gift shop. When the chief surgeon's wife found out about their relationship, guess who paid the price? She won't let Poppy and Luna to that to their lives again. Lai recaps that she was blamed for her sister's actions because they were related and she got her the job. Suddenly, I started losing shifts. She was transferred to another hospital after working so hard for so many years. Her sister didn't care about the impact her choice would have on her, and she refuses to let her and Luna do it to her again, or to him. I forbid it. Lee complains that no one knows what her sister has done to her. She's lived her life free and easy with no regard for the heartbreak she suffered. It's not fair. In the design office, RG tells Luna he has to take care of a mix-up at receiving. Luna flashes to kissing him after he exits. When RG returns, talk turns to Eric and how much he cares about him. It kills him that he can't tell his dad about it. Luna's there for him and gives him a hug. At the Forrester mansion, the doctor warns Eric he can't put any more stress on his body. You need to be resting and conserving energy. Donna implores that he has to stop pushing himself. Eric is pushing himself for the biggest challenge of his career. He's going to win it, and then he's going to be back behind his desk. He turned the fashion house into an international enterprise, and nothing is going to stop him. Eric informs the doctor, not even you. Donna tells the doctor they need answers or they're going to get a second opinion. Colby understands and will be in touch. He warns Eric to take it easy and not to wear himself out before leaving. Eric tells Donna he has to do this. I'm an artist. I'm a designer. I can't let these things go unfinished. I'm unfinished. He rants about the Stapler Ridge throughout because it was old and couldn't function anymore. I can function. It was important to him and Ridge should have known that. He knows Donna wishes he could put down the pencil and relax but he can't. I have to do this, Donna. This passion inside to create beauty, it's who I am as a man. The man she fell in love with. He's going to do this, come out on top, and live his life the way he wants to live it. 
Donna embraces him and vows he'll win the competition. I'm with you 100%, Eric adds, until the end. Donna repeats, until the end in the main office, Brooke tells Ridge that she and Donna will be happy when the fashion challenge is over. It's caused too much friction. Ridge reiterates that his father can't come back and run the place. Brooke says, try telling that to Eric Forrester. He teases, whose side are you on? He feels what his father is doing is wrong for the company and he's going to put a stop to it. Ridge shows Brooke the amount of money his dad is spending on the line. In a few years, he'll want to do it again. My dad isn't going anywhere. In the design office, Luna thanks RG again for helping her stand up to her aunt Lai. RG feels he should be thanking her. It means a lot that he's been able to open up to her about his grandfather. She assures him his secret is safe. I won't say a word.